All right, so got the lawnmower in here with the heat on, cold day out. And for tonight, my intentions are with this beautiful, freshly purchased from eBay footy transmission, which all I did to it so far was swap over from the disc brake that was on it to the drum brake so it fits with the drum brake in the Huffy in there. And uh, so this is the closest transmission I could find to be the only one that may work in this. At first I thought it might have been a 400 series transmission because when I talked to a buddy of mine that knows a lot about lawn tractors and lawn mowers, that's what he thought it was. I was researching it and um, I wasn't really getting anywhere. The, the, all the insides of the transmission didn't look right and it just didn't look correct at all. Nothing lined up. It didn't have the disc brake or the drum brake on the side. So I said, all right, well, I know that Tecumseh also made a lot of transmissions. So I looked up Tecumseh, see what Tecumseh had. And I got closer but I didn't really find anything. And I was thinking, hey, what if I looked at a later year Huffy lawn tractor? Maybe they use the same transmissions because, you know, companies do that all the time. So I looked up, I forget what model, but I was on uh, tractordata.com and I was looking through all the different models going from this one up and I found a tractor that not only was within the relative year I think it was from the 80s which is for this is from the 70s um the one in the 80s uh had a transmission in it and I could look at the transmission and I was like okay well that's that transmission had this little nub that was protruding out I and mean, you could see it in the picture because of the transmission pan it has the hole cut out for the shifter arm to go through and i could see that and i was like okay that must be it and when i looked up tecumseh transmission i found a guy comparing a tecumseh transmission to a footy transmission and the footy transmission i saw had that little bump on it and i was like hey i got a match up here and so the first well not the first but so I did more research, found a footy transmission that was the closest and in best condition I could find, purchased it, now it's here, and uh, so far all I did was put the drum brake on, but next thing is I have to cut this, cut that, well that there, so I can fit the transmission in, because uh, this whole bend right here just, you know, it's right here. But aside from that, I measured the bolt holes. It's not the perfect fit, but it should line up, especially with the sliding rails. So hopefully we'll be driving this thing and assuming it'll start. Ta-ta! So remember when I said that I could probably like put it in and drive it out the garage. That was yesterday, and we are still nowhere as near as done. It's 10.45 right now. I think I've been in here since around eight-ish. Got a lot of cleaning to do, but the important part is the transmission is in the hole. You go ahead and say the transmission is crooked because it is but that's the straightest i could get it like it's just i don't i don't know it's like it's just i don't know what but for some reason this brake drum and the whole bracket system for this lawnmower has been the most painful part by far 50% of what I was doing was, okay, 
Transmission, no fitty. Okay, what? Well, it's not going in. What's it hitting? What's in the way? All right, uh, this thingamabob is hitting the transmission. Grind down or remove that thingamabob. Well, there was quite a bit of removing, as you can see here. Uh, this whole piece was removed from the transmission because originally it was, uh, remember when I said it was a brake disc and, uh, well, this was where that pad went for the brake disc on the other side. Um, super in the way, so I cut that out, grinded it down, and I was like, well, and, uh, another thing that holds the calipers on for the brake disc was a bolt that went into the case. Um, it went into the case, literally, and I, that's like the only point to put what I believe to be grease is what you use to oil this thing, which I would assume you would just take this cap off and just pump a few pumps of grease in there. But I guess you could, uh, if you're insane, you could take the whole transmission out and then, you know, fill it in there on the side. So I had to find a bolt. First bolt I found too long, uh, way too long. Then I found a f one that fit flush. But it was still too long because the head was too high. So what I do? Oh, you just grind the absolute living shit out of the head. I think it's about a little less than an eighth. No, probably maybe, yeah, a little less than an eighth thick. So that uh, was fun. But yeah, it was basically just, okay, take it out, put it back in. Oh, that's hitting that, take it out put it back in, oh, that's hitting that, remove that or something. About like 20 times. Um, then I got really retarded and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a genius and I'm gonna drill a hole in the bracket down there for the, for the, I'm gonna drill a hole in it so the transmission lines up. And, uh, yeah, I know I kind of butchered it down here, but uh, so what you see here, all right, uh, you see here, that's, that's the hole I drilled. And then in the brake bracket right there, you can see a little bit of another hole right there. I drilled that hole so it would line up. I took the whole bracket out. And I put it next to the transmission with the disc on, I mean the drum on. And so this is the bracket basically, it has a cable that goes, has a cable that goes through it, the cable pulls and then it, when it pulls it pinches the horseshoes and it pulls on the brake, right? So this is where that is, drum brake goes right in here. And I have discovered that the drum brake doesn't just come in. It doesn't just come in and sit here. It sits in it, which is why it's such a pain in the ass to get it in is because the we are trying to put it in the disc is just hitting the side of the bracket. So you got to like go in and then in. So now I have a clearance zone to be within. And so I discovered, once I discovered that, I took the transmission out and I lined it up. I drove a hole. I yeah, fucked it up. I was like, all right, welded up the hole. Then I drilled a hole to the right where now it lined up. And now the brake bracket fit on the transmission. I could have bolted it on and I could have put in everything together and that's where the bracket needed to be to line up perfectly. And like, I don't really even know what's going on down there. Hang on. What's going on down there? Well, what's going on is, um, you can see that the, the drum is fitting in between it now. Now, why is that hole just not lining up at all? Dude, like, I, I don't know. So there's only three bolts holding the transmission in. I, I'd love to have four. And, you know, maybe I'll get the fourth one. But that's not going to be today. So for now, the thing is done.
done. And, uh, you know, I got the chain all tensioned and it's as straight as I could honestly get it. You know? Yeah, yeah, mm hmm Yep, back has transmission. Yeah, I shift it like this. It's really weird. That's first. Hang on. Reverse. The reverse ain't going in quite in. Hang on. Oh, there you go. There's reverse, right? Then neutral. That's neutral right there. It's like sideways. Then third. Got to catch that. It's third. And then you got second right there. And that's that. This is for the neutral safety wire system, which I think me and Jack completely removed. Oh, fuck. Anyway, that's, that's that. I'll... Hang on, hang on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me just push this back over. Hang on, hang on. Uh, hang on. We'll put you down there. So, uh, uh, all right, uh, as I was saying, um, there it is, um, hang on. okay, so, as I was saying, fuck, where was I? Oh, yeah, I only got three bolts in this. One, two, three, okay, right there. So, I'm right in here. Somewhere in here, supposed to be a bolt. Now, the way this originally worked is there's that one there. Which one? Hey, is there a gas coming out the fuel tank? Oh, uh, no, we reach on. Uh, so, the way it would work is one of the transmission bolts would go through the bracket hole. Now, sadly, the footy transmission I have is so probably like, I don't know, it's probably just the wrong year and probably the wrong make, but it will work. So I'll probably take this out one day and drill a hole in here and try and find the the other transmission threaded hole. So I'll probably just square this up, measure off of this, make a mark, come over here, then drill a hole into the brake bracket and just pray, pray, because that is the only way I think I'll be able to get four bolts in, but aside from that, this thing is fucking golden. And lucky for us, because of the belt being old and stuck in the shape that it was, we can determine that the size this guy needs to get is about a about a seven inch pulley. Yeah, I'd say seven inches or smaller. So yeah, I get a seven inch one big as possible. That'd be for you know torque towing. Then I could swap it out and put one in there. That's small for speedy fast. And that will make that fun. I will do that, and then, um, what else? That's about it for now. Oh, I was spilling gas. I thought so wonderful. Oh, probably from the carburetor, right? 
Yeah, from the carburetor. Hmm, that's odd. Uh, it's from the float pool because the fuel lines are closed. Yes, whatever. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's fun, and uh, hopefully next time, another fun thing we can do because Huffy had that fucking dog in them in the 70s because, dude... I think I already pointed this out in a video, in the earlier video, but dude, look. You see that? What? That's, th this is, as far as I'm aware, this is the original steering wheel. There's only one other picture I found of this online in a YouTube video. And this, it matches, and it looks, and it is, as far as I'm aware, the original steering wheel. So just explain to me, like, what? Like, I mean, it's got to be cheaper to use just black plastic, so, I mean, I guess Huffy just had that fucking dog in them, like I said, but it's the whole steering wheel, so hopefully we can get all that off, and that can be the coolest Huffy H350 guy driving around, and <laughs> no matter what, I'm going to be the coolest because I'm one of the only, because I, I, I couldn't find anything else on this. But it's fun to shift the transmission with the way this is. Ooh That's fun. Uh, th this was a pain in the ass getting in the way all the time, which, yes, arguably I could remove it and... Uh, I probably should have, but I didn't. Now yeah, look, the gases are gone. Um, all right, I'll, uh, I'm gonna go to bed now. So, bye bye.